What is the truth? Daniel 12, 1 There will be a time of distress such ha as has not happened from the beginning of the nations until then. Daniel 10, part 2 At that time, Daniel mourned for three weeks because of worries. Daniel 12 The angels learned Daniel how to pray two questions. How long this terrible time take time? What is the result of this terrible time? The answer of these two questions bring trust and hope. Sphere, that time is limited and God's work become complete. Like my life to have very terrible times and have pain. God knows everything and knows my pain and me as a strong person. He knows the evils causing me hurt, hard life, but God's purpose is more important. Don't forget that God always makes the good things from the bad things. Amen. Daniel 7. It stands but destroyed the main horn and the animal became powerless. Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel 7.25 He will speak against the Most High and oppress His holy people and try to change the set times and the laws. The holy people will be delivered into His hands for the time, times and half the time. Seven is a complete number. God made the world in six days and in the day seven it became complete. The, the above time is 3.5 days, which is half of this complete time, means that God's plan become, becomes complete before this 7 days. The God's message is that hard times and things start by events, but ends after short period. Then trust God's timing and have faith to God. When you know and believe that heart is temporary, then you can make it only with your faith to the God. Daniel 7 part 8 And I heard but didn't understood. The angel explains that temporary times as 1290 days is the victim time. Happily you are waiting until 1335 days. Yes, it is longer for you know about it and God check your strength then always pray to have his strength God completes his purpose Matthew 24 uh, part 36 but about the hours and days no one knows, not even the angels in the heaven, nor the sun, but only the Father. You don't need to know God's purpose, only have a hope that after that temporary period, the good things appear. As like as Jesus told, every, uh, every any storm, light appears. After any storm, light appears. Then trust God and His work and pray for strength to see. You see in the world that evils uh, get success from each other. They encourage another to join them to don't be alone in the hell. God's holy people fight against evil. Don't put God in question why evil survive. Only know that uh, God has patience and trust on God's plan and timing. Send your glory to the God and Jesus and trust on their work. I only remind you that Jewish crucified Jesus and thought that they had defeated God and his lovely son Jesus. But God make victory for Jesus who believe have uh, eternal life. God has already answered our questions by sending his prophets and scriptures. Then don't doubt, only believe and trust God's timing and plan. Stay holy and pray for strength. Trust God that after these painful temporary times, when you still have faith, you raise in the end of 
and end and are in Jesus Imperium and strong joy and happy. Daniel 11 part 32 and 12 part 3 Evils make a lot of terrible things for people, but people who believe and trust the God make good things to defeat evils, inform God, good people about God's which make us nice and kind and holy. Let people know if they stay faithful, God gives them strength and wisdom to defeat evils. Be happy that God chosen chosen you to inform God's words. Heavenly Father God and Jesus, guide us in any storm and lead us to the light. Give us strength and knowledge to stay strong in the storm and help others to don't lose you. Bless all your believers and send your glory to all your real people. In the holy name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Identities appear in some different moments. For example, in the evening of a day, you marry and become wife or husband. In the same morning, you weren't, but in the exact moment you accept, you get a new identity and uh, adds uh, to your other identities. What is a good wife or husband uh, tendencies? They are honest, faithful, kind, family raiser, and supporter the family. These follows by actions like supports, make happiness, and so on. These actions follows by consequences, and all these are con uh, connected to each other. The identity contains both a positive and negative. The most important is that you make the positive stronger and neg than negatives. Mean overcome and the negatives. But sometimes the negatives appears in our actions and make lies or doubts. If you continue and accept these lies, it leads you to unreality. Uh, unreality. That that you shouldn't be there means that you choose another path inside your real path and go lost. If you have questions, seek the answer to correct you in your real path. If you don't and continue, it can lead you to accepting unreal, which can lead you to lies and doubts. Seek the answers at God and Jesus, who answer you the truth. You must believe that your life is worthful and that don't accept the unreal about you. You need to be awakened and keep you in the real path. lies or doubts lead to failures. Lies and doubts lead you to unpleasant actions. Sometimes you fail even you are in the real path because of your un under un your unanswered questions. Of course you, you try to solve your problems leading you to failures but you can be failed even you have correct solutions but if you seek God and Jesus and make your solutions in the name of Jesus and God you will never fail if you follow Jesus and accept God's words we cannot accept lies and keep us in the real path and be succeeded if you accept lies you live in lies leading you to failures but if you accept the truth and reality you live in truth if you accept that truth, uh, truth Jesus has defined you are successful if you accept that you your body is a part of Jesus church in heaven then you don't uh, go lost for the inspiration of God and Jesus and Holy Spirit is with you through the whole path your body is a place of your soul 
then let it be a part of Jesus church in heaven you must keep your body clean so that heavenly father God and lovely Jesus live in it remember when Jesus told us anybody accepts Jesus and obey his commandments is living in Jesus and Jesus in them in this case your identity is not caused by your actions but only Jesus actions for us if we accept this even we make mistakes Jesus saves us and corrects us you must accept that your body is a gift from the God and you must accept it holy and clean that God Jesus and Holy Spirit live in it but by following the scripture and praise them this is truth that your body is a part of Jesus in heaven and it is your identity when you go in your path it can appear difficulties or hinders you must have that ability to steer your feet or leg to defeat them and continue with your path in the Bible stands how you should cleanse your foot with a holy prayer to keep your guidance in your path. The example is the bicycle with two different shoes. One locks to the pedal and the other is usual shoe. If you use the first one, you can be clashed on and be injured by, because you cannot release your foot from the pedal. While if you have the second shoe, you can steer the cycle and be safe. Sometimes you are in a community that people embrace you if you are you, uh, yourself. If you only pretend and do the same as the other, it cannot be good. You must be yourself and be your real truth. Pretending leads you to unreal and lies and dubs and make you lose your path. If you pretend you fall into steering of your mind by others if you pretend for others sake you lose your real truth and jump into lies greed and unreal life if you pretend for others sake you try to convince the other mean that you become slave of other but if you accept and believe on your truth the pretending doesn't exist only god's lovely plan for you exist due to bible when god with his love and kindness to us who we were or are slave for materials made and makes us free via jesus jesus and holy spirit learn us to do good things believe that you are created uh, in peace and in god's words and in jesus name you get a blessed life in true belief but created the universes on the earth he created human the human sinned and human fall but God given Jesus to restore human to his imperium Jesus gave his love to forgive our sins God raised Jesus from the dead from Satan's imperium by this God and Jesus learned us if we obey God and his commandments we can be safe from the dead and have eternal life you must find yourself as God's art, as a poet, and the God and God is the poem. You must find yourself and let God's poem be heard via you. Therefore, you must hold the time, listen to Holy Spirit to sing God's song in correct and effective way. You must adore the God and Jesus. That is because Jesus tells that if we obey him, he lives in us and believe in him. For Jesus knows that poem God has given us and God and Jesus expect that we sing their songs. As like as Jesus sang the God's song and all the time, he told that his words are God's words and that God talks with us via him. Hallelujah. Amen.
God has a lot of sin and unseen powers. If you know the God and believe with your heart and your mind on His powers and you obey Him unconditionally, then you can see His unseen powers. You have seen God's powers in the creation, nature, our universe, and so on. You have seen the, uh, the earthquakes, the storms, the sea waves, the thunders, and so on. You feel its powers. God has written two poems, one creation and second V. The most important, God shows his sin powers in these two poems, which is holy. God's poem are beautiful and meaningful, but we are aware of bad poems made of Satan and his devils, which are destroyers. You as God's poem are beautiful, then by your holy faith to God, sing that, that his song and don't destroy it with your sins. God has patience on us and has given us opportunities to confess our mistakes and sins, but when you complain, God, that you should make you better, that he should make you better than so. It is a huge mistake, for you haven't understood his poem on you. When you do mistakes, misjudging and sins, and on real things, you destroy that song and fall in your life. But God's love is so great that you can ask him for forgiveness and uh, corrections and be safe but remember that don't repeat them again to understand God's art V is the following this example there are a lot of artists in this world the poet the printer the sculpture and so on they create arts coming from their soul which is given from the God. When you see their arts, you become inspired by your understanding of that. To understand God's arts, only ask the God to have the eye on and mind to understand his reason about that art and especially to understand and sing his song as he wishes. Pray that Holy Spirit help us to do as God wishes. Don't believe on lies, only truth, and find out that you are God's beautiful poem and don't destroy it. Pray that the Holy Spirit remind you that you are a, you are God's beautiful poem and guides you. When you believe and accept and do God's wishes, you are not going to pretend following lies and doubts. Churches are a place to adore God's arts. When you know about these things, then you respect others. When you see sinners, you can remind them and return them to the correct path.